Now, an easier way way to think um, about our brain is um, the we start from the old brain if um, you your hands were on a hot plate instinctually you remove um, your hands from the hot plate in the event of feeling the heat from the hot plate now that's instinctual you didn't need to think about it now what if you had been burnt before uh, in the past by putting your hand on a very hot, hot plate. Now that memory and that pain, um, which has been now saved into your midbrain is going to give you a greater instinctual uh, removal of your hand from that hot plate. What if then your new brain comes into the picture and actually noticed that the hot plate is actually not that hot? The fire is, all the temperature is actually at a very low uh, temperature. And you override that instinctual part of you of removing your hand by telling yourself, calm down, it's okay, um, it's not hot at all, it's just lukewarm. Um, don't worry about it. You Even if you leave your hand on the hot plate, it's not going to burn you. So that's how these three... Uh, parts of our brain come together uh, to work together to give us uh, a better way of dealing with situations. And indeed, um, in trading, that will be uh, really what um, we will need. Now, let's look at um, the next bit of um, this fear and greed emotions. As we know, um, fear and greed um, I'm not sure whether you know this, probably you do. It's normal. Uh, it's normal to feel fear and greed. But the issue here is how much of it though? How much of it is normal? And particularly when it comes to trading, how much of it uh, should we have fear or greed um, when it comes to trading? Now, the first thing that um, I want to bring to you is that fear and greed, both of these emotions, they're primal and um, they're universal. We all feel them. And it starts way back uh, from, uh, like from the old brain, from primal, primal stage. Now look at um, the animals here. You will see that um, uh, this one is attacking that one. The, the little doggy there has lack of control. Um, but uh, on the other hand, you've got um, the baby penguin here um, reaching out to perhaps the mom here and uh, for survival. And the, the parent penguin here is being protective of its offspring. So these are all very primal instincts that we all feel. We fear when we feel a lack of control, like this one here. Um, we fear when we um, do not have our survival uh, met in terms of food, um, shelter, or uh, stuff like that. Or when our safety is challenged, we feel fear. Or perhaps in this case, um, this animal here wants more. Um, in, in our terms, would be we want we are seeking for happiness, we are seeking for uh, satisfaction or significance out of life. So these two emotions, fear and greed, really it comes from um, how it comes from our primal instincts really of dealing with uh, in situations where there's a lack of control, where we need survival, our survival instincts are challenged, or we want more um, out of significance or happiness or respect in our case. For example, in trading, now what can transpire to what we call greediness is uh, a, a need for respect, for example, of wanting to be Right. Um, this can even translate to perhaps not cutting losses when we need to or overstaying in trades because just to prove that we are right, we are not wrong. Um, and we the decision that we made initially was was the right one. Now, this sort of um, need of being right, being uh, ha having that respect or, or that significance in life uh, can also reflect the state of the ego that we have in ourselves, not taking a position, for example, uh, trading on paper instead of actually getting into the trade because we don't want to be wrong. We're afraid to be wrong. Or even um, we can 
fall into the space of being greedy, driven by fear. Um, we, I call this follow, which is a fear of losing out, F-O-L-O. -O. Um, this can uh, come from the um, emotion of being envious, uh, being competitive, and it drives us to, to um, the other side of the equation as in fearful of losing out and hence we become more greedy or to chase uh, the very last dollar just to uh, look better in um, the face of others. So these are the um, emotions that we feel, they are primal, they are universal, uh, we all have them. Again, it's how much and how much of it uh, we display and is reflected in how we train. Now, so these are primal and universal, but there's another part of it uh, which is um, more personal. And this part of the emotion is conditioned in each one of us. These are preloaded uh, data when we were born, uh, perhaps through DNA uh, from our parents. Uh, we are already preloaded with a certain amount of fear and greed in us. And this can be traced uh, back to when I talked about the um, emotional brain the last time. Um, fear can be traced to the amygdala in the emotional brain. And um, the reward seeking self of us can be traced to the neck, the NACC. Uh, in our emotional brain again. So we have certain preloaded uh, level of fear and greed. And then from there, we moved on as we experience uh, life, we have uh, uh, knowledge, we, we uh, live life, uh, our background, our school systems, uh, the things that we've learned along the way, fear and greed, uh, the emotions build up in us. Um, and particularly, if uh, there has been emotion that has caused us pain, for example, huge losses or in our mind, significant losses, it may not be so in reality, but it may be significant in our brain or how we feel it in terms of emotions. And those kind of pain or memory of pains or memory of losses are stored in our memory bank and they're stored deeper uh, and into our long-term memory. And this part of the memory memory is in the hippocampus. Again, it's in the limbic part of our brain. It's called the memory, the memory bank of our brain. The more we remember, the more we experience losses or pain, uh, the more these emotions will be brought up when uh, stimuli trigger uh, the fear in us. So these are conditioned. Uh, these are not primal and universal. These are on top of that. These are individual. These are our personal uh, fear prints. Um, now, another part of it that is uh, part of our personal fear print is uh, based on our personality profile. 